Josh Pantoni is with us, CEO of Boosted AI. Um, what did you think about NVIDIA? You probably wanted to have some questions answered from the quarterly report, were they? Yeah, I, I think the most interesting thing for me is just how much this is a trend that's here to stay. I mean, I think the, the NVIDIA story is really a stock uh, price to perfection, but the bigger thing for me is just how consistent this seems to be um, and how common AI seems to be kind of across the entire economic uh, landscape. So when you think about the way NVIDIA has been growing and has had this moat, and while the growth has slowed some, it's still really impressive um, when you think about the competitive landscape. When you think about AMD or any of the other names, is NVIDIA still a behemoth, or do the other names have a chance at becoming really number one at some point? I think there's going to be certain niches that uh, different companies will be able to come into. But again, the, you know, the, the really interesting thing for us is when we kind of analyze um, the few thousand earnings using our technology to see what's really being talked about with NVIDIA, um, it, the, the topics vary from you know, utility companies talking about uh, predicting future demands on power. Um, companies thinking about locations they can put data centers where they can actually support the power grid connection support what they're looking for. Uh, there's security companies talking about um, integrating Gen of AI in different parts of their process. There's HR companies that are talking about using it for personnel management. Um, so for me, I think you're just kind of seeing the entire space as a whole expand. Um, will NVIDIA be able to maintain such a massive ownership of that entire space? That's harder to say. Um, but as the space expands, you'd expect NVIDIA to expand with it. Yeah, what are the conversations you've been having? You know, you have over a couple hundred clients. I mean, what kind of conversations have you been having lately? What are some of the questions they're asking? And how do you meet those demands? Yeah, I think the really interesting thing for us is summer is usually the slowest time of the year. Um, this year, we've seen usage effectively double um, over the past few months, which even for an extremely high growing startup, um, <laughs> over that short a time period is, is, is pretty aggressive. Um, I think the most interesting thing for me is there's this shift from uh, sort of like prompt-based technology where you ask a question, get an answer, to starting to build more automations, build technology that can basically work independently and consistently offline. Um, and that's allowing users to basically get a lot more value um, than that they were doing historically. I was thinking about your Maluba IP that was bought by Microsoft. Um, mm -hmm. You know, a great entrepreneur and creator that you are. What do you think is needed now? What are you working on now? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for us is building technology that kind of has two things. Number one, you want it to be able to do more work independently. You want to build technology where um, the user doesn't have to ask. It just kind of figures out what you need and does it automatically. And, and number two, we want to build technology that feels more natural, that ultimately really starts to feel more almost like a coworker or someone else that you're um, interacting with and less like a piece of technology. Uh, and so part of that is this ability to have AI that can literally do tasks on its own on a consistent basis. Part of that is also the modalities you interact with it. We want to build things that you can text, that can call you, that you can interact with through email, um, that really just feels more natural in terms of how you engage with it. For NVIDIA that you're so familiar with and you think about the chip demand, I mean, for the hopper, there's still significant demand. And then there's the Blackwell chip that has been delayed. Um, I mean, if you had advice to NVIDIA, what would you tell them about getting that ready to go? How quickly? <laughs> yeah, I, I think the biggest thing for us is uh, there it's gotten better, but there's still um, some challenges of just getting access to enough GPUs and get <laughs> the, the sort of distribution um, compared to the demand is still uh, still not quite there yet. Um, so I think as we sort of look forward to the future, I think NVIDIA has a very big um, IP step compared to their uh, competitors, um, but it's still really just trying to fill up the amount of demand that exists. Um, and, and I expect those continue to be a leader in that area as well. Yeah, when you, when you thought about all the regulations that the administration was putting on the more advanced chips going abroad, the ones coming in, et cetera, I mean, the battle with the Chinese in particular, what did you think of that? Did you find that to be helpful or not necessarily? Yeah, I think in China in particular, um, they're going to have a number of challenges 
um, largely from a regulatory standpoint. Um, and you know, I, I think there's a lot of other interesting cases too. If the big focus here obviously is in, in GPUs, but in China, um, you know, outside of the data centers, you also have automotive sectors and other things like that. Um, so I, I think they struggle a little bit in China, but again, the opportunity elsewhere is so massive. Uh, they're probably in a pretty good spot. You wanted management to uh, at least explain the insider selling a little bit more. Sometimes it's just, you know, they're, they're scheduled selling, but sometimes not. What do you think could be going on here with NVIDIA and the insider sales? Yeah, I think from uh, that standpoint, probably we just, um, you know, there, there was uh, a few things that kind of got caught, I think, from a, a few different analysts and a few things that were interesting there. Um, but uh, I, I don't know if that's actually as big a story as some of the other things that we were talked about. Yeah, understood. All right. Thank you so much. It's good to see you. Nicole's always glad you're. It's always us. fantastic to be here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. We'll continue our conversations, folks, uh, about Nvidia and all these tech names and Josh Pantoni, Boosted AI. Thank you.